Hi, I'm Graham and welcome to Man vs Film and this is going to be a Blu-ray review for Lucky Number Slevin. Now, I remember doing a list a while ago, just that was a personal list just to see what my favourite movies in the past so many years was. And as I was looking through the list, one name kept coming back to me and it appeared in my top 10 at the end. I can't remember which position it was at and that was Lucky Number Slevin. I have a serious like for this movie, I think it's absolutely fantastic and I love it and I hadn't seen it in quite a few years and I'd picked it up in Blu-ray and was always meaning to watch it and I was sitting last night and I thought you know what I need something to stick on, just something that I'm familiar with, something that I don't need to give it all my attention, something that I can just tune in and out to in the background and I stuck on Lucky Number 11 thinking you know what, give this a wee shot, I can tune in and out to the bits I like. Within five minutes I was hooked, I sat there and I watched the full thing without doing the other tasks that I had to do. And I'm so glad to see that Lucky Number Slippin' still holds up and I still find it a fantastic movie after all this time. Now it's got one hell of a cast on it, it's got Josh Hartnett in the lead role, it's got Bruce Willis, Morgan Freeman, Ben Kingsley, Lucy Liu, Stanley Tucci, all these great actors in this one movie. It's a hell of a cast and it's a hell of a story. Now it's a kind of, where do I start? I don't want to spoil too much of the movie, but it's about this character who's basically the point between these two gangsters that have a, a sort of lifelong truce with each other which is ready to snap at this point. I would love to tell you more but it's really going to waste the story. If you haven't seen Lucky Number 7, jump straight into it. I really like Josh Hartnett's performance in this and it's performances like this that make you forget about the Pearl Harbor things that you've seen before. I think he's a good actor given the right role and in this it's kind of carefree, worry free persona etches through and it's really well done and he's got this charisma especially with Lucy Liu that's just it's just absolutely perfect. Bruce Willis plays Mr Good Cat. He is a seasoned assassin who will take practically any job and he comes across as this guarded, cold-hearted, very smart killer. Now the two gangsters that I was talking about, one is played by Morgan Freeman who is the boss and the other is the rabbi Ben Kingsley and they have sort of split the town in two and they, between them, run this full city. Lucy Liu just happens to be neighbours to this guy Nick Fisher who's just Hartnett character Slevin pops into town to visit but Nick's disappeared and nobody knows where he is and everybody assumes that Slevin is this Nick Fisher character and that's how he ends up as this point between the two gangsters. Stanley Tucci is a policeman who's monitoring these two gangsters trying to figure out what's going to happen next and he notices that Slevin's going in between these two uh, gangsters and he's wondering if he's a major player in the town or just a pawn in amongst these gangsters games. Lucky Number Slevin is one of these movies that uh, uh, has a twist, it has a point, it has something you need to figure out but I think the movie gets better once you already know what's going to happen, once you know where all the pieces fit into this puzzle. But I really like the journey, I love all the wee little pieces come together and I like looking back and going like did that scene play in two different ways, does it? Ultimately my love for uh, Lucky Number 11 is, is tantamount. I, I think it's a great movie, I think it's fantastic performances from all the lead actors, I think it's a great story and I think it's something that needs to be watched, especially from the editing point of view. It edits a lot of images together that tie together at the final uh, scene of the movie, showing how everything came to the place it's got to. But the scenes never seem out of place when you see them in the movie, a little glimpse of something here, a little shot of something there. You just think it's artistic touches, but it actually adds up to the storyline. I think the editing is fantastic in this movie. And the direction from Paul McGuigan is tip top. And that's not just because he's Scottish as well, but it's because it's such a great movie. And I don't hear people talking about this enough. Now Lucky Number 11 came out in 2006, it's almost 10 years old and yet it's still, I'd put it against any movie this year, it's still a fantastic movie, well any movie except Mad Max because that's something special, but it's just a, a really enjoyable movie and I never hear people talking about this thing. Now the Blu-ray is not too bad, it's got two commentaries on it, one with the cast and one with Paul McGuigan, I prefer the one with the director because I think it's a little bit more interesting and it's got a standard making of where everybody's having great fun making this movie. It's not the most action packed Blu-ray but I would say if you are a collector at all it is e an essential movie to have. But then I'm biased, I think it's fantastic. Lucky number 11 for me gets 5 out of 5, it's pure entertainment, it's pure joy, it's pure cinematic glory. I highly recommend that you go out and pick up a copy as soon as possible. And I'll see you next time, Man vs Film. Man vs Film.